Good morning, Newport News students. Welcome to the Mariners Museum and Park. Here at America's National Maritime Museum, you can uncover mysteries of the past through engaging exhibits and historical artifacts. This includes discoveries about the Battle of the Ironclads that took place in the waters of Hampton Roads. But what became of the USS Monitor and the CSS Virginia after their famous duel? Some of these mysteries, as in the case of the USS Monitor, are buried at the bottom of the sea. Let's learn how history is uncovered and new discoveries are revealed at the Mariner's Museum. You might remember from your reading that the USS Monitor sank in the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of North Carolina. Take a look at the map. Notice where you are, located in relation to where the USS Monitor is buried today. When the shipwreck was first examined in 1974, an underwater search pod was used to collect photos and footage of the wreck. These images helped scientists learn more about the USS Monitor. Since its sinking in 1862, the wreck has become a lively coral reef, home to many species of aquatic life. Torito worms bore into the wooden deck, and sponges, corals, and sea fans attach themselves to the ship. If the ship were raised, it would disrupt this underwater habitat. It's the job of maritime archaeologists, who could be described as underwater historians, to determine which sunken artifacts are valuable and should be recovered and restored. These archaeologists work for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, or NOAA. Over 200 tons of priceless artifacts have been recovered from the shipwreck and are now located at the USS Monitor Center inside Mariner's Museum. Just to give you an idea, 200 tons is equal to the weight of 20 school buses. As you can imagine, that's a lot of work. Therefore, maritime archaeologists must be very knowledgeable about the items they decide to recover. One of the most exciting artifacts recovered is the Monitor's revolving gun turret, which is now being conserved safely in NOAA's restoration lab. Now it's your turn to work as a maritime archaeologist to complete an engineering design challenge in search of underwater discoveries. Good luck Newport News 4th and 5th graders and safe voyage.